everybody, welcome to Pilates for Dancers. In this mat class, the focus is getting your leg up, building all those muscles that you need to really have a nice high extension. Anytime we bring our legs up, it's great if you're really flexible, but if you don't have the strength to hold it, you're always going to be missing that extra little edge. So this is what this class is all about. Let's get started. Go ahead and lie down on your mat. Feet are flat on the ground and arms are just down by your side. I'm just gonna do a couple of breaths here to warm up. Exhale. I want you to start to tilt and arch through the spine, through the pelvis. We want neither an arched back and neither a completely imprinted back. You wanna be able to find that neutral position, okay? So once you've gone back and forth a little bit here, I want you to think about bringing the right hip to the right rib and then the left hip to the left rib. So again, it's just moving side to side in order to better feel that neutral position. You may have some imbalances here. You may have one side that's tighter than the other. You may have uh, one hip that's higher than the other. A couple more like this. And now finding that neutral position there from up to down, the up slip, the down slip, from a forward anterior tilt to a posterior tilt, finding that neutral position. All right, let's get started. Hands come just behind the thighs. Inhale and curl all the way up. Hold here. And come on down. Okay, we're gonna build on this. So curl up. Shoulder blades are off the mat. Gaze is right kind of below the knee, thigh area, and come down. Curl up, squeezing the stomach in. Now from here, we're gonna let go of the arms and come down. Grab, let go of the arms. Now extend the feet away. Bring the feet back in and maybe your mat too and come all the way down. Coming up, extending the feet away. Bring the feet in, come on down. Exhale up, scooping here. Here you want to imprint the spine Feet come out, arms come overhead, sweep it all back, come on down. Exhale up, leg, arm, and then scoop it in. Two more like that. Legs, upper body, and in, one more. Scooping up, nice and high, legs. Arms overhead and come back in. Good. Knees into the chest and rolling from side to side. Okay, we're gonna come to tabletop here. Again, just warming up through the core. We're gonna do some toe taps. So right toe taps down to the back and up. I want you to inhale as the leg comes down. We're alternating legs here. Exhale as the knee comes back up. We're starting to activate those low abs, starting to activate the psoas and the hip flexor, which is what we need to strengthen in order to get our legs higher. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Legs up to the ceiling and just kind of bring them back into your chest and stretch here. All right, and go ahead and plant your feet down, hip width apart. Hands are down on the ground and we're just going to roll up into a bridge here. Exhaling down one vertebrae at a time, if you can. Thinking about really trying to isolate each section of your back. You're curling in the pubic area, curling the lower back up, curling the mid back, upper back to the edges of the shoulder blades or even a little bit beyond, squeezing through the glutes and rolling down upper back, mid back, low back, tailbone. A couple more like this. Exhale on the way up. Inhaling at the top. Exhale on the way down. Take a look in your peripheral vision. Are your knees splaying out to the side or are they squeezing in? Just keep them hip distance apart. Work on squeezing through the pelvic floor to add that little bit of engagement and that also will help you keep your legs together. Last one here. And exhale holding at the top, and pulses. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four is still engaged, three, two, and one. Good, rolling all the way down. Good, bring the feet together. Last little set of bridges here. Right leg is coming to the height of the left knee. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and roll up and back down. So it's a smaller movement. You can do four like this. Articulating through the spine. And last one, rolling up. Good, and coming down. Now bring that leg to a 90 degree angle and we're going to, um, again, articulate up into our bridge. You can point the foot if you like. Inhale and exhale up. And now Batma for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll down. Good, bring that knee into the chest. Left leg can come straight down. Good, and switch. So now we're back into that bridge. Um, left knee is now the same height as, left leg is extended and the same height as the right knee. Four bridges, just like this. Here's four, keeping the hips level. Three. Two. Last one. Coming down, bring that left leg up to 90 degrees now. And we're going to articulate into the bridge. Stay up. Eight batmas. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Rolling down. Knee into the chest. Right leg long. Good. So you should feel, should feel nice and warm in, um, well, a little bit of everywhere. Coming back into your tabletop here, hands are out to the side, just a little bit outside of your mat, just for um, some support for, for what we're about to do. We're gonna rock our knees to the right, exhale back to center. Rock our knees to the left, exhale back to center. It's okay if you're lifting up your hip at this point, totally fine. Just go to a place where you know you can use your core to bring you back to center. On that exhale, you're squeezing everything in. Squeeze that core set of muscles in. Okay, the next one, you're gonna to rock to the side, you're gonna extend the legs out, come back, and to the center. Rock to the side, extend the legs out, back to tabletop, back to center. Now different, rock to the side, legs come back to center, and tabletop. Rock to the side, extend the legs, come back to center, and tabletop. Couple more like this. Rock to the side, extend the legs, back to center, tabletop, rock to the side, extend the legs, back to center, and tabletop. Good job. Feet come all the way, extend, arms are overhead. We're just gonna do some roll-ups here. But right before we start that, I just wanna take a deep breath in, stretch long, and exhale. Good, feet are flexed here. Arms are overhead. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, head, shoulders, upper back, mid back, low back. Sit up nice and tall and stretching past the feet and rounding back from the tailbone all the way down. I love that little seat belt metaphor that you have a seat belt around your hips and that's where the uh, pull back is coming from. Inhale, exhale, rolling up. Sit up nice and tall. Over a giant beach ball, stretching to the edge of the room, and roll back from the pelvis. Round, 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 round. Last time here. Exhale up. Sitting up nice and tall. And forward. Now since we're forward, go ahead and take a hamstring stretch here. You can walk your hips back a little bit for an even better stretch. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Let the head hang down. Good. Coming up. Okay, from here, we're going to just bend the knees. We're going to curl down, curl down, curl down. Right knee in, extend to 90, and down. Curl back up. Curl down. 
Left knee in using the psoas, using the hip flexor, curl it, and then extend. Come back down and up. So what I'm doing here is starting to activate through the psoas, squeeze that knee as close as you can to your upper body, and then you extend. Same thing when you're working at the bar, you want to bring the knee up high. And the way that we do that is through the strength of the psoas. Knee in, knee in, knee in, and then up. One more on each side, curling down, staying curled, knee in and up, down. Last one on the left side now, squeeze the knee in as close as you can to the body, extend, knee in, down and up, good. Stretching forward for just a second. Okay, now coming to, um, I'm just gonna face you, you can stay facing the way that you just were. But we're going to start with our right leg crossed over our left. And what I want you to do is take your little two fingers of your right hand and find that place. It's a deep area of muscle, the psoas. What we're going to do is um, just start to lean forward onto that left hip and then you're gonna place your hands behind you. You're gonna use that connection of the psoas to lift the leg. Come back. Leaning over and use the psoas, find that connection. Okay, two more like this. So when we're leaning over, we're getting a little bit of a stretch and when we're coming up, we're really squeezing, trying to activate those muscles that bring the lift. Good, now bring it parallel and turned out, parallel, turned out, parallel, turned out and coming back. Good. Now I want you to just carry the leg around, round de jambe, all the way behind you. So now we're in um, a little bit of a hip stretch, okay? From here, a little bit difficult to see with me doing it that way, so I'm gonna just switch around here. Basically, what we're doing is we're behind, have our leg behind, and we're stretching the leg out and dragging it back in. Stretching it out and dragging it back in. Couple more like that. A little bit easier to do if you do not have carpet. Good. Once you're here, I want you to just center the hips out. We're gonna move into a front split here in just a minute. And go ahead and let that left leg come forward and move right into your front split. Good, and bending back and switching to the other side. So we did a little bit of strengthening on that side, but then we did a good stretch. Okay, so now the left leg is over the right. Cross, finding that psoas with the two fingers, crossing over and lifting up. Over. Lift, use the psoas, use the hip flexor, use the core, to lift the leg up. Two more. Last one here. We're going turn out and parallel. And turn out and parallel. Turn out and parallel. Turn out. And now carry the leg all the way around behind and moving into that same thing. So it's a little hip stretch here bringing the knee back in and pressing it away. In and pressing it away. And I'll give you the side version here. Pressing back and coming in. Pressing back. If you feel nice and stable, you can always keep your arms out in second here. I like to have a little bit more support. One more time, in and back. Good, squaring through the hips here. And moving into your front split. Right leg forward, left leg back. Making sure to breathe. I always like to wag my hips around a little bit rather than just a static stretch, just to get a little bit more, um, kind of, my muscles relax a little bit better. So whatever works for you is totally fine. Good, and coming all the way back in. Coming back to that first side, so the right leg is over the left. 
I'm going to grab the arch of my foot and I'm going to come forward. I'm going to lift up that hip. I'm going to turn out and tuck under. Lifting up. And now I feel the turn out coming all the way from the back of the hip all the way to the edge of the toe. Pinky toe wrapping in. Up and wrapping in. Stay here and hold for four, three, two, and one. Good, coming in. Grabbing the arch and coming side now. Okay, same thing. We're reaching up. We're wrapping the hip down. Reaching up and wrapping the hip down. Two more. Up. Wrap down. Last one. Up. And wrap down. Hold. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Stretching forward just a touch. And other side. Okay? Same thing. So now right leg, or excuse me, left leg is over the right. And we're stretching up front. Lift the hip up. Curl the hip down so you've got a nice turn up. Lifting up. Curling down from the feet all the way to the toes. Here's three. Last one. This is four. Good. Here and hold for four. Three, two, and one. Good. Same thing to the side now. So grabbing the arch of the foot, coming out to the side, lifting up the hip, curling under, turning out. Two. Three, and four. Good, holding for four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. All right, let's do a little stretch forward. Butterfly stretch here. Deep breath in, and exhale down. Pressing the knees away if you'd like. A little bit extra stretch. You can almost come into a diamond shape. That kind of gets into the hip a little bit better. Inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, and exhale, good. Okay, taking a small break from the hips for just a sec, um, we're going to move into some back work, which will be really helpful with basically everything that we do as dancers. Um, I want you to start with just your hands in front of you. You can rest your head on your hands. I'm just going to put my, my head this way so you can hear me still. Um, we're just going to start by uh, doing a few leg, leg lifts on each side. So engaging through the core, and then we're going to lift up the right leg and down. Lift up the left leg and down. Head can be on your hand and lift. Thinking about keeping your hips stable, not letting the um, working leg have all of the weight. You want to really keep that supporting leg still with some kind of um, weight in it so that you are working both sides, both legs. Good. Now hands come by your sides here. Engage through the core. Just starting with a head lift and lifting the upper back. Gaze is just in front of the mat, right on the carpet or the floor in front of you. Coming down. Exhaling up. And coming down. Now we go head, shoulders, upper back. Stretch a little bit farther and come on down. Good. Head, shoulders, upper back. A little bit farther, full extension, and back down. Now if you don't want to do full extension, just think of the upper back, the thoracic spine. This is what we're getting after here. If the thoracic spine is nice and strong, then you're not going to dump everything into your lumbar spine, which is the low back. That's where a lot of problems start to happen because we overcompensate by not using the upper back. Okay, two more like this. Here's one. Last one, good, and hold here, arms come out to the side, and down, arms come out to the side, stay out to the side, and down, 
Now, arms come out to the side, stay out to the side, right arm overhead, left leg lifts. Back down, all the way. Airplane arms, left arm overhead, right leg lifts. Airplane arms, and down. Right arm, left leg, and down. Left arm, right leg, and down. One more each side. Right arm, left leg, down. Left arm, right leg, and down. Good, pressing back into a child's pose and just taking a little rest here. Deep breath in, exhale. Arms stretching farther and farther in front of you. Imagine somebody coming behind you and just pressing down on that tailbone, feet to the heels. Reaching the arms past the yoga mat on the right, stretching through the left side of the body. Breathing. And stretch past onto the other side, left side of the mat, stretching the right bum down to the right heel. Good. Come back to center here. And we're going to move into a downward dog. So if your heels aren't touching the mat at first, it's no big deal. Just walk your feet out a little bit here. Breathing, thinking about aiming the chest down to the floor. Good, we're gonna bend at the knees, curl forward. If you're in a plank, but your shoulders are even a little bit in front of your uh, wrist here. Inhale, exhale, and come back to that downward dog. Curl the knees, curl forward, plank, nice long straight body, and downward dog. Bending the knees, curling forward, plank, and downward dog. This time I want you to stretch your fingertips out just a little bit further so your downward dog is fairly wide. You bend the knees, come into that plank. Now, your uh, shoulders should be right over your wrist here, and holding the plank, inhale, Exhale, squeezing everything in. Keep breathing, I'm just gonna go through all the things we should be thinking about. Pelvic floor is lifted, lower abs are working, thinking about if you could, moving the hip bones closer together. Corseting the abs, those transverse abs, around and in, squeezing it in. Keep breathing, inhale here, exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale, downward dog, good job. Rest for just a sec here. Okay, gonna bring your feet close together now. Right leg is gonna come up to the ceiling and down to the plank. Don't touch the floor. Up to the ceiling and down to the floor. Up and down. One more. Up and now you can put your foot down on the floor. Left foot points up to the ceiling, planking forward, up to the ceiling, planking forward, not letting that foot touch the ground, up to the ceiling, planking forward, and one more time, and planking forward, foot comes down to the ground, knees come down to the ground, and child's pose. Breathe. Good, and rolling up here. Good, just a couple more exercises now to move um, back into the work with the hips and the psoas, and then we'll be all finished. Okay, so coming back onto your back, this time we're gonna be on our elbows here. So I don't want you to think about like, kind of like just lounging and laying at the beach. You're going to still be um, lifted slightly here. The work is going to be in the legs, but we just don't want to collapse here. So what I want you to do is bring the knee in as much as you can, activating that psoas again and extending to 90. Bring the knee in and down. Left leg in, extend to 90, in and down. 
So you're squeezing in, using the psoas, using the hip flexors to bring that leg as close as you can to the body. Squeeze in again and back down. Squeeze in, extend, squeeze in and down. So I'm not squeezing in by just collapsing my body. I'm staying upright. I'm squeezing in with my core, with my psoas, with my hip flexor. Up, squeeze in on the way back down and down. Left leg squeeze in and up. Squeeze in and down. One more on each side. Left leg, right leg in and up and in and down. Left leg in and up and in and down. Sitting back on the heels, go ahead and lift your heels up and we're going to come to a hamstring stretch just like this, okay? Coming into a, a small second position as wide as your mat and squatting down into a little uh, malasana squat if you do yoga and pressing the elbows into the inside of the knee to press away. Sitting up nice and tall, sitting up tall. Inhale, exhale. Exhale. Good. I want you to just creep your hands forward now. Both hands over to the left side and over to the right. Nice job. Come back up. And last thing we're going to do here, come back down to your mat. A little hip stretch to just finish off. So what I want you to do, we've worked the hips pretty well. Um, we're going to stretch through the outer hip right now, but you'll also feel a nice inner hip stretch just along the way. So stacking the uh, right foot over the left, moving into a fire log stretch. So um, ankle to knee, basically. If you can't get there, if it's a little wonky, just deal with it, it's all good. You can always um, come to a leg in front position, but I would imagine most of you are pretty flexible, so you're gonna be just fine. You can move the flesh away from the uh, sits bones. Sit up nice and tall, hands are behind your back. Take a deep breath in, stretching up tall, exhale, and curling in. Stretching up tall, exhale, curl in. Now when you're nice and extended, I want you to bring the hand in front of you, and you're just gonna wave from side to side. Keep breathing, just really letting it relax in there. A lot of times, you know, dancers are so tight in the hips because all you're doing is turning out, you're really constantly working that muscle. And so this, allow this time to just really relax into the stretch and walk your hands over to the left side here. If you want, you can place your elbow into the arch of your foot or into the ball of your foot, but you don't have to. Find that place where it feels like a really good stretch on your outer hip. Keep breathing, keep rocking, and just moving in those waves if that feels good to you. Otherwise, you can stay in a static stretch. Three deep inhales here on your own. Good, and walking back to the front. Should be a little bit more stretched now. If you want, you can bring your forearms down or you can just stay up like this and just fold over, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, really breathing through the back and through the ribs. Let them expand side. Letting the head go. Good, and walking back up here. And switching the legs. So just now, left leg is on top of the right leg. Ankle to knee on both sides, moving the flesh away from the sits bones, if that felt good to you on the first side. Okay, arching here, and exhale, curling in. Arch up, exhale, curl in. Staying up nice and elongated, stretch the arms out to the front, and just waving from side to side here. Really feeling free to close your eyes if you want, just listen to what I'm saying. There's really something about stretching with your eyes closed that feels so wonderful. It's such like a nice um, extra release. Making sure that you exhale all the air into that muscle that is tight. 
Next time you want to be a staying buoyant a little bit, but walk on over to the right side over here. If you want, again, you can stick your hand into the ball of your foot or into the arch of, the, of your foot just for more stretch. Um, just find a place that works well for you so you feel a really good stretch between uh, your left hip here and the bottom of your left rib. You should feel it. That's the quadratus lumborum, and it can get really tight sometimes. So just really waving back and forth here. Three deep breaths on your own. Good, and when you're ready, you're gonna walk back to center. Again, you can bring the forearms down to the floor here. Deep breath in, exhale. Really breathing into those ribs, out to the side. Full 360 degree breath. Letting the head hang. Good job. Hands come to the knees and rolling up. Good, come to a comfortable seated position. Take a deep breath in and exhale. One more time, in and exhale. And that is it. Feel free to do any other stretches that you need after that. I hope you found these exercises helpful for raising your leg up higher and that you got a full body workout. I will see you next video um, and thank you so much for working out with me. Bye-bye.